Hello all and welcome to another episode of Fresh Tech. It's your boy Courtney Hill, Mr. Fresh himself, and today we'll be covering how I YouTube. Now, a lot of people always ask me, what do I use to edit on? How long have I been YouTubing? What computer do you use? What lenses? What camera? Etc. Etc. And I figured I'd go ahead and make a video, kind of like a behind the scenes type of deal or uh, insight into what I do and how I YouTube and what I use to edit on. And as you can see here, I actually do edit on a 15 inch MacBook Pro. This is the Retina model. Uh, and it's actually been working pretty well for me. I normally use the uh, 27 inch iMac that you see in the backdrop for most of my video editing. And I've been using that primarily for the past two years now and it was showing its age a little bit so I decided to go ahead and upgrade to a MacBook Pro uh, get something that's a little bit more portable ultimately I may end up getting a Mac Pro the tower actually and connecting that to a Thunderbolt display but of course that's down the line once I start editing and shooting in 4k and right now what's bringing my voice to your ears is the Blue Yeti Pro I've been using this microphone for years now it's a tank and I actually have a review of it and on my channel I actually go ahead and link it in the description for you and one of the my favorite uh, uh, started cameras was of course the Canon T3i Rebel and uh, it was a great starter camera for me a crop sensor but since then I've actually been using the Canon 60 I've been using this camera for about the past six seven months so most of the content you see currently is coming from this camera I'm a fan of Canon overall and this is one of the best video cameras that you can get with a full frame sensor it has built-in Wi-Fi GPS you can actually control it with the application um, it's a very very good DSLR and one of the best ones that I'd recommend for anyone that's looking to get into a full frame DSLR that provides good video um, let me know what you guys think of the Canon series uh, down below as well and when I want to have fun and shoot any music videos I actually use my DJI Phantom uh, quadcopter uh, and actually I pair that with a Zen Muse 3 axis gimbal and my uh, GoPro Hero 3 Plus and as you can see here some of the footage from one of the music videos I've shot uh, called we in this you can actually uh, see that down below as well I'll link that in the description for you and this is definitely something that brought my channel to the next level providing very crisp clean aerial footage with a GoPro and just different angles that you can get with the DJI Phantom an aerial aspect is something that's necessary to challenge people's eyes and you know get them involved in the footage that you bring to them and make something a little bit more compelling uh, it comes in handy like crazy and it's a fun thing to fly around and actually something that I saw uh, recently in CES 2015 is the new Inspire 1 this is the new dr quadcopter drone from DJI and it actually brings a lot of the stuff that I got for my DJI Phantom it's all built into this uh, Inspire 1 it actually has a uh, 4k camera that actually has a 3-axis gimbal already built into it comes with the of course the controls and you can actually monitor with an iPad uh, and once again the 4k is ridiculously sharp um, a lot of the footage that I've seen captured with this device or this quadcopter at CES is you know jaw-dropping and I, I enjoy evolution and, and of course like I said getting a new camera this is definitely going to be down the road when I get a 4k drone as well and then I've, I actually just recently uh, purchased the DJI Ronin and if you haven't noticed, I'm supporting DJI a lot. They're not sponsoring this video or anything, but the Ronin is something that I figured I needed to provide smooth panning and uh, a very clean cinematic look to most of my videos because I wanted to get more into in-depth music videos, short films. I want to get into something that's a bit more professional, and I, I feel that the DJI Ronin is definitely by far the best three-axis stabilizing gimbal that you can get for any camera, and it supports you know everything from DSLRs to you know a fully rigged out Red Epic, and it's very versatile. I've actually used it a little bit in one of the most recent shoots that I'm doing for a music video, but I definitely want to get into using it more once the weather clears up and the summer kicks in. I'm definitely going to be shooting a lot of video footage with this uh, stabilizer. But that's about it for me, guys. I hope that you like. Like this channel hopefully hopefully gives you a little bit more insight in what I do on this channel um, I have a wide range of content and I cover many different genres from you know tech videos of course that I've been doing a lot recently to music videos to movie reviews to uh, future uh, gameplay look forward to that and you know I like to mix it up and, and incorporate things that I like to actually watch on YouTube on my channel um, if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below maybe we can even start a little Q&A going but um, let me know what you guys think it's been a pleasure as usual you guys stay safe stay fresh and uh, uh, go get some tech or something. Peace.